It's crazy how you guys come to these conclusions before the show is over. Like, can we get a chance for him to to have trauma? You watch one episode and you get to the conclusion that, oh, the whole murder thing is never going to appear again in the whole fucking story. How does your brain work like that? How does it work like that? I'm genuinely confused. All right, Tab, we got solo leveling is mid at best. Now it's like... The 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 perspective of solo leveling has been changing. As I've been getting on the internet, I have been seeing a lot of people changing their mind when previously this was the conversation. But to see this topic after the two episodes that we just got in is literally insane to me. So I just gotta know how the solo le the solo leveling haters are defending themselves. Let's find out. That's right, solo leveling, the most anticipated anime of the year, is pretty damn mid. But not the kind of Twitter weaponized mid where it means anything but mid, it's mid in the way that actually means mid. Medi you know what's crazy though, is I don't get how you guys can see this scene, right? Where, where solo level, I mean, where, where Jin Woo, he literally... Is literally his turning point. There's only a singular other turning point that I can think of that, like, even does it similarly close to solo leveling. I mean, no, the other turning point does it better. Mashoku's Tensei turning point, I like that one better. But solo leveling level, solo leveling's turning point is at that level of Mashoku Tensei's, and it's like, how do you see that turning point episode and say that this show is mid? There is thousands of anime. I can give you a mid anime. This is not mid. This is well over mid. Like, what are we talking about? Mediocre. Average. Not great, not terrible. The anime does what it sets out to do perfectly well, really well even at times. The problem being, what it does just isn't all that interesting. It's brutal, gory, battle shown and inspired action, but with an isekai-style protagonist, and I do mean isekai style in everything. Jin Woo is as interesting a main character as a dog turd on the side of the road. And the rest of the cast, at least so far, fare little better. Which, strictly speaking, isn't really such a glaring issue, given how uninspiring your average shonen cast tend to be, but it's still very noticeable. I, I need to know, anime community, I need to know what your problem with MCs are. It's like every single anime that we get, if the MC isn't goddamn doing the most crazy, bizarre shit that you've ever seen in your life, the MC's garbage. Every single last anime. It does not matter, bro. I swear, any anime that comes out, every MC is trash, if it, in you guys' opinion. I get on the internet, and this is like, it's just... We are just not satisfied with main characters anymore. But when you look at back at some of the most iconic main characters in anime, they're not crazy. They're simple. But you like them because of the story. Can we get a chance to like Jung Woo? Can we get a chance? Like, you guys lose me, man. But before we get further into it, a quick word from the first ever channel partner. I yeah, have. We do not care, buddy. Of given the entire medium. Is it the best written one? No, probably not, but it's easily in the top 10 of the most popular ones, which explains the massive hype for its now airing anime adaptation. Too bad the hype did not result in the best and greatest anime ever made, like a lot of fans were hoping for. The story follows the blandest main character I have seen in a long while, Jin- What do you- bro, first of all, you you just spoke for solo leveling fans. That they do not agree with you. They do not agree with you. People that like solo leveling like the story. They like the character. They're here to see the adaptation. If you ask someone who's read the Mawa or the light novel, they're gonna be like, "Yeah, it's pretty. It's been adapted pretty good. This is this is what we expected." I know plenty of people that watch solo leveling, and they are not upset with how this got adapted at all. But you, you're the one with the problem. So let's not speak for all solo leveling fans, buddy. 
in Wu, the weakest hunter in the world. But he's still a hunter, a group of people who've had a special magical power awaken in them as a result of dungeon portals starting to appear everywhere around the world. These dungeons contain fantasy beasties of all shapes and sizes, creatures that are naturally completely resistant to any and all conventional weapons we may possess, since as a rule a sword is cooler than a gun. This is brilliant, but I like this. Does it make sense? No, but it's the rule of cool, so I guess. And while this start to make even less sense when you realize- Oh, like, are we serious? Are we serious? We're talking about a power fantasy, and you're talking about fucking guns. I, like, you anime niggas, I, I just fail to take y'all serious. What power fantasy do you know that has guns in it? Like, it's very rare. Of course. Oh, oh, the most popular fucking power fantasy that's come out is gonna be with fucking blades. Nigga, think of it. I'm not even gonna explain this. This is a waste of time. I can't believe. Realized that some of the hunters use crossbow gun thingies. We are expected to not question it. Besides, I like Warhammer 40,000, so by that merit alone, I'm not even allowed to complain, so moving swiftly onwards. Where Jin Woo comes into this is that his family is poor and he has to pay for their mother's treatment to keep her alive, since any good power fantasy needs a sob story to get things rolling. Jin is basically as strong as your average kindergartner <laughs> with a box cutter, and yet he bravely ventures forth to earn what little he can from the dungeons, all the while risking life and limb when facing even the weakest of monsters. That is, until he ends up face to face with a cruel god that slaughters his entire adventuring party, an encounter where he too dies. <gasps> Except he lives, and gains the ability to become the most powerful hunter to have ever existed, because of course he does. And now you see why I said that the show is kind of like a battle shawn and oh, say and take a pick, mixed with isekai tropes. Jin's brand spanking new abilities that he can now level up hence the name of the anime. So, at least it's not Kirito levels of Isekai instantly OP bullshit, and Jin Woo does actually have to work for it. And work for it he does, for all of two episodes, and then it's off to power tripping and the whole sub story of a background. Oh my god, you you guys just do not pay attention to the story. Hold on, I'm tripping. You guys just don't pay attention to the story, and it's, it's, it's very, it's very, 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 very ob obvious, bro. It's very obvious. He's going against, what did they say? C-rank hunters? C-rank hunters. He was in the hospital for what? He was in the hospital for at least a month. I don't remember the, the exact time frame that they said he was in there. And every single day he was doing that training regimen. Every single day he was doing that regimen that, that we see. And he he went against C-rank hunters. Of course. Are we surprised that he beat C-rank hunters? Now, if you would have brought up the point of what happened in the most recent episode, like that one is that one is more arguable than what you're talking about is practically completely forgotten beyond a couple of very passing scenes. Then again, all of this is very shonen, so I guess it was to be expected. Oh, and did I mention that the stronger Jin gets, the more handsome he becomes as is only natural, and for some reason his chin too seems to grow with his powers, because reasons I guess. All of this is then spiced up with a dose of edgy so big that Sasuke came around complaining that his edgelord title was stolen. I mean, the title Jin Woo gets early on is fucking Wolf Assassin. Like, come on. That is the level of a middle school kid deciding on a cool gamer tag. At least there are some elements as to why Jin would get to be a little on the cold side with his understandable PTSD from, you know. <sighs> which is seemingly forgotten after two episodes, and the trauma of being forced to kill people by the system, which doesn't even last until the end of episode 6, and I'm beginning to think that it's all just an excuse for maximum edge. So, that bit was written and recorded before the latest I was, episode. I was about to get on your ass. I'm, I'm glad, I'm, I'm so very glad you came to your conclusions, because I, I was about to rip you anew. I'm not gonna lie to you, but... I'm gonna let you continue with your pointless points. Now I can thankfully say that the whole murder is bad might not be forgotten quite as quickly as I feared. So maybe. Can we get a chance for him to to have trauma? 
you watch one episode and you get to the conclusion that, oh, the whole murder thing is never going to appear again in the whole fucking story. How does your brain work like that? How does it work like that? I'm genuinely confused. Maybe there is room for some character development yet. Jin Woo is kind of the teenager's dream character, so I guess he has that going for him. But for someone a little older, he just comes off as incredibly dull and kind of all over the place. There are a lot of half-hearted elements. What do you mean older? Are you, are you 40 years old? Do you not see the good in life? Because I don't, I don't understand. Well, what's your target demographic here? Because I, I might have to go ask somebody. I think this is a you thing, buddy. Don't try to say because you're older. Uh, well, how old are you? You don't sound too old to me. Comments to him and no real dedication to any of them, but it's still early days. So far, the cast of the show is by far its weakest aspect, but I will say that we barely met any of them beyond Mr. Edge, so maybe there is yet hope. Still, it's a dark shonen-esque power fantasy, and shonen as a genre isn't exactly known for its great characters, and at least the anime does the fight bits, you know, the main point of it all, pretty damn well. It is very power so how So how is this mid? We're five minutes, we're, we're about six minutes in the anime, and you haven't told me why this show is, why solo leveling gets mid. Is solo leveling the best anime to ever come out? No. Is it mid compared to a mist of all the anime that have ever come out absolutely not i'm trying to see your point here the combat that follows the shonen template almost to the t all the while keeping up the stupidly overpowered isekai protagonist feel and for one it actually kind of fits if you've seen any of my shonen or isekai reviews for that matter you'd know that i'm not the biggest fan of the chosen one cannot lose protagonist unless it's by one sensei but weirdly i really don't mind it in solo leveling not that much anyway maybe it's because there is very little of anything else going on like in demon slayer the entire point ends up being the power fantasy aspect of the fights so instead of being boring like in most isekai that try way too hard it ends up turning the action into just a little brainless fun Solo leveling really embodies the flip side of the overpowered protagonist coin. When you don't take it any deeper and just go full dumb OP, naturally such approach stops it ever from being truly great, but sometimes better is the enemy of good enough. That and the animation really helps to sell the battle shonen-esque pure entertainment value approach. Solo leveling simply looks really good most of the time. It's not you for table levels of Flash or Mappa. So, am I missing... I, I must be missing the point of your video. I must be missing it. If I said this about any anime, there's no way we can come to the conclusion that the anime is mid. I, I, I must be... I must be watching... I must be watching some different type of anime. If we can say this about solo leveling and come to the conclusion that it's mid kinds of graphical fidelity, but A1 Pictures really did bring us some great looking scenes, and something I can really appreciate is that it's not just impact frames galore. We have some actual fight choreography with discernible character movements. And if anything, it's nice to see another popular manhwa get an anime adaptation. Now, let's just hope that it won't end up being another god of high school. So far, it's been a bit of a rocky road, with the intro video controversy and the Studio Pori being dropped from the credits thing, as well as people being very vocal about the anime changing things from the manhwa. Then again, from what I could find, people had the exact same complaints when comparing the original light novel to the webcomic, so I'm not sure how big a deal it will end up being. All in all, solo leveling is, so far at least, just another power fantasy with good animation, that is to say, nothing special, which is kind of a letdown after the change. So, so what power fantasy is solo leveling being compared to? Because right now, solo leveling is doing power fantasy better than any other power fantasy has done power fantasy. So if that's the case, it literally can't be mid. It can't be. So a man levels of hype the show had going for. The characters are one of the most boring casts I've seen in a while, and the show... Like... We're talking about, we're talk, we're talking about characters in a show that's called solo leveling. 
number one. That's not even like number two. We're seven episodes into the show. There's there's not a single show where you're happy about characters in seven sh- seven episodes in, especially a shonen. Especially a shonen. You're you're not telling me you're you gone into any shonen seven episodes in. You're like, oh my god, these characters are amazing. Well, you're just not at that point. Come on now, be realistic. Who does nothing particularly clever or inventive, which for entertainment alone isn't really necessary, but at the same time it also prevents it from standing out either, especially following straight after the really popular season 2 of Jutsu Kaisen that falls into the same category of being dark battle shonen. If you like shonen or overpowered edgelord protagonist, or you just want to see a so far pretty decent adaptation of a manhwa, then you could do a lot worse too. But if you're looking for something truly great, then solo leveling isn't it. 7 out of 10, not great, not terrible. <laughs> so this nigga just doesn't know how. He doesn't understand how things work. There's in no universe is a 7 out of 10 anime even close to mid, right? I'm not even going to get how we're how we're on episode 7 and you're rating an anime 7 out of 10. I could get on your ass about that all day. At least watch the fucking season before you want to rate shit. Like that, 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 that really, that's the problem that's wrong with the anime community. We always want to call shit mid. We always want to call shit ass without even watching the entirety of the, of the thing. Just say it's not for you and move on. This is that, this is the stuff that fires me up right here. Seven out of 10. And we're only on episode seven. Like, come on, buddy. Shit, shit just is. It doesn't make sense to me. But perfectly adequate. You're just gonna okay Hit that subscribe button like this if you like it. all right the video's over please anime youtube let's uh let's allow animes to finish before you speak your opinion on anime please because this solo leveling is gonna end and you you might not care this creator might not care but we'll be able to look back on this video and say this motherfucker didn't even give it a chance and now he looks stupid. Now, I know some of you guys just don't care, which is perfectly okay. But for the ones that of us, for the people that do care, please let the anime breathe before you go speaking on it, bro. This is just, I just don't understand that for the life of me. I don't. So you like the video? You'll like this one too. Go ahead and click on that. You're still here? So so you don't fuck with me? Nah, I'm a dick. I'm a dick.